and he now has his first kill streak, which is the personal radar. I would definitely pop that right now because, yeah, see, it was a little too it's late. Terrible time. All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode of Subscriber Review, where I pretty much just react to your gameplay and I give my tips and tricks and input based on what I have seen. So if you guys are interested in having me review your gameplay, you know, this is what the form looks like. It's pretty simple. So this guy's current KD ratio is a 1.05 and he's been playing Call of Duty since the game basically came out. But unfortunately, he never really played it and he only has eight hours of playtime. So this guy is a super casual. So I'm sure a lot of you guys who watch my channel could possibly relate to that. So maybe this video will help. And his reason for submission is that he sometimes has insane games, 60 plus kills which is actually pretty crazy <laughs> but then there are many games where i can't even go over 15 so uh, right off the bat with a 1.05 kd and the amount of hours that he's only played which is only eight hours i can already tell that this dude needs to play a lot more like if he's submitting this video it shows that he actually wants to improve so you just got to put in the time so that you can get more familiar with the game the mechanics the maps etc you know that's going to improve your gameplay overall and it will also help out with consistency so let's just jump right into the gameplay but First, before we get into the gameplay, if you guys didn't know, I now have merch and it's a limited drop and it's available until July 19th. I'm actually wearing one of the hoodies right now. Very comfortable, great quality. And as you can see right here, we're repping Turbo Nation. Anyways, that link will be down below in the description. And if you do enjoy this series, make sure to show some love. Leave a like on it. You know, this is for you guys. If you guys want this series to continue, drop a like on it. Let's try to hit 500 likes and I will keep continuing these videos. And make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. It's very important so you don't miss out on new videos all right so let's just get into the gameplay here i'm basically just going to pretty much react to whatever he's doing in game and i want you guys in the comments down below to leave your advice as well because when he sees this video and he reads the comments he's going to learn a lot more than just watching what i have to tell him because obviously i might miss something so it looks like he's using the foul here with a commando four grip is that the foul no it's not <laughs> it's actually an automatic so okay right off the bat i don't think that he needs okay it is the foul actually yeah you don't need a commando foregrip on the foul honestly the foul is a single fire weapon so when you're firing that weapon really heavily you know you're not really going to notice that recoil too much it's not really going to affect you and that was a very nice kill by the way i see that he's venturing out into other parts of the map by himself let me get this mouse out of the way and this is good because i do encourage people to flank especially when you're playing solo it's easy to get kills as you can see this guy has no idea that he's right behind him and that's the whole essence of flanking it's the element of surprise i say this over and over again in my videos i always talk about it and why it's really effective and plus at the same time you do learn lanes and routes of the map that you could take that are safe and unfortunately he died there mainly because he was just rushing into the building you know he didn't really slow his roll let's back that up real quick so it was already too late. He already missed his shots. And another advice that I do have to give this player is that he needs to use a good weapon that's great for the map and his playstyle. So he's rushing way too hard right now. He's using a single fire weapon and in multiplayer, you die relatively fast. So if you don't have a really fast reaction or trigger finger, then you're most likely going to lose those gunfights in multiplayer. So that's something that you have to consider if you're going to be using certain types of weapons because every weapon has its own strengths and weaknesses and you got to learn how to capitalize on both of those categories. So that's why he he couldn't really stand a chance in this fight maybe he got one or two shots off right there and yeah he was just basically going against a player who had a fully automatic weapon and that's that all right so he's looks like he's pushing left teammate just died to his right so that's a really good indicator that there was an enemy there that was a good kill there's someone right next to him good kill once again so he's got his munitions box available and he now has his first kill streak which is the personal radar i would definitely pop that right now because yeah see it was a little too late so Let's back this up really quick. So as soon as he got into this area, he already got his first kill streak, which is the personal UAV. If you guys don't know, that is going to expose nearby enemies locations on the minimap only for yourself. So that's why it's called a personal UAV. Now, if he had popped that soon enough, and you know wait for it to ping first so that you know if there's actually enemies in your area and another thing is look at where he is on a minimap he's here by himself all his teammates are on the other side of the map so there's most likely going to be enemies in this exact same area so it would actually make a lot more sense to just pop your kill streak as soon as you get it so that you get that peace of mind so that you don't get surprised by you know unsuspecting enemies that might be there so for example this guy that just killed him up on the roof you know, he would have been able to detect where that enemy was and that death could have been avoided. That's a little strange to me. Why? Wh how come he spawns in with a VLK optic, but then it shows a foul? That's kind of weird to me. Let's see what it does here. 
All right, that was a good challenge. He had good cover behind that rock. There's another enemy right there. So pause it right here. So, you know, every time you get a kill, it's a good idea to keep moving, right? You always hear me saying that. But when you're faced with this open area right here to your left, you know, you want to take a glance at the situation first before actually making a move. Yeah, there was one enemy right here. But at the same time, you also have to consider, you know, maybe there might be more. So you still want to have a good positioning and good cover before you engage in a gunfight in an open area such as as you see right here so because there could be enemies that are looking at you right here so if you're paying more attention to these little details in the game then you're definitely going to decrease the amount of times that you actually die yes you see an enemy there so your eyes are going to light up you want to get the kill but there could also be enemies here so you have to be mindful of your positioning once again oh okay he's running overkill he's running overkill i didn't really get a chance to see his class setup so uh, another advice that i would have to give this guy is to use ghost instead of overkill because i mean what do you really need that second weapon with the vlk scope for you know you're playing like i said earlier in the video you're playing on a you know pretty long distance engagement type of map so you know you don't really need two weapons for most of your gunfights in multiplayer you know you're fine just using a pistol for your close range engagements and it's better off that you run ghost because especially if you're flanking and the enemy calls in a uav you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb when you're flanking on the map they're gonna be hey we got a stray on the other side of the map let's go ahead and tackle this guy you know that's why i do recommend using ghost and that's very important all right so let me see here what i exactly what i let me see exactly what i just missed here yeah see and and that's Part of the reason why I'm telling you guys, you got to get to know your weapon really well. Know its strengths and weaknesses. The foul is not really a run and gun type of weapon. Okay, so he's using, it looks like he's using the kilo now as his secondary. He's totally given up on the foul for this situation. I like how he's pre-aiming as he goes into a new area. Yeah, you could stick more to the walls. If you stay closer to the walls, you'll definitely minimize the amount of death that you do get as well. Because if you're just standing out in the middle, okay, he's changing his class setup. Multiplayer M4A1, but it shows a, what is this? MP7, okay. All right, MP7, not bad. So he just came out of the spawn. There's really nothing you can do about that in that situation. He's using no stock Merc 4 grip. I'm assuming he's using the FSS recon barrel and the monolith expressor which is actually one of my favorite setups yeah if you know there's a kill streak coming just you know take cover right away especially if you're not running cold-blooded which he is not he's using eod which is actually a good perk just you know hide and run for cover so a teammate just died behind him that's why he looked that way so if you look at the compass that's how he knows where there's enemies at and if you look at the minimap as well there's a personal uav so he made the right connection there he has good good positioning right now he's got high ground best believe that enemy is going to come up from the stairs and try to flank you get ready pre-aim right now good kill all right there's going to be more right underneath you you got to check those stairs look behind you all right okay let me just put in my two cents here so in this situation look at the mini map there's clearly an enemy right there the best thing to do in this situation, if you're going to go out this window, is try to flank him. You know, go out this window, go down here, and then flank him from behind before he actually gets upstairs. You know, it's a mind game in multiplayer. You got to just outsmart your enemies. And I'm pretty sure if, you know, they're communicating with each other, they're going to tell they're going to tell their teammates like, hey, I just died to a guy that's on the second floor of this house. You know, go get him. You know, so best believe they're going to be going after you. And this guy is definitely going to be going up the stairs. So option one, go down here or option two. You pay attention to the stairs like the same way that you killed that first guy. So he's going to come out here and he's going to rush the middle. That UAV gives us a lot more information to work with. I would still keep pushing into their spawn. This is a great opportunity since we know exactly where the enemies are. I would not go this way, honestly, because if you go this way on this particular map, they're going to be spawning in from here and you're going to get sideswiped and you're going to get blindsided by enemies that are coming in from their spawn. As you can see here, enemies are actually dying. So that's an that's also a little small detail and something that you need to pay attention to that could actually cost you a death. So All right, that was a great flank and as you can see right there, he did get blindsided and he missed the opportunity to survive there. So he has his personal UAV once again. If I was in this particular situation, I would try to get back into their spawn by sticking to the outskirts, flanking. Okay. 
There you go. Good persistent kill right there. And I would definitely pop that personal UAV. There you go. All right. He popped that personal UAV. Exactly what I said. If you're looking at the mini map, enemies are pinging. He's getting high ground right now. There's enemies right behind you. Better watch that front door. I would definitely pursue this guy. There's there's two people that are spawning in here. There's no reason to pay attention to the middle of the map at this point because the enemies are spawning in from now directly in front of you. And earlier, they were behind you. So I think right now, since his personal UAV pretty much expired, it's just way too late. Oh, no, it's still on. Pre-aim. Pre-aim right now. Yeah, slow it down. When you're going around corners, just slow it down. Pre-aim. It's very basic. Something I literally say all the time in my videos. But it's so effective. It's It goes back to the fundamentals. You got to learn how to change your pace accordingly. I like how he checks his corners pretty often. I really like that as well. I'm not sure if this enemy knows that he's there shooting at him. Pop that personal UAV. Good wall bang. I like the persistency that this guy has. Pop that personal UAV right now. You might get blindsided. Okay, now he's pushing their spawn. That was a good kill. All right, so as you can see what happened, that's the importance of calling in your kill streaks right away because if you don't kill if you don't call them right away, especially if you're running low kill streaks, like a personal UAV for example, your kill streaks are going to overlap. They're not going to stack. So you pretty much missed your opportunity to have two personal UAVs at the same time. So, you know, now he's gifted with another personal UAV. Unfortunately, his original one went away. All right, so he pretty much just he stayed in the same area. And the reason why he died was because the people that he just literally killed knew exactly where he was and they were looking for him. So you got to keep moving in that situation, you know, especially if you're that deep in the spawn, they're going to try to pursue you and get you out of there. Great challenge. And I like the fact that he switched his weapons right away to be able to challenge that gunfight accordingly. It's a good example of knowing which guns are actually going to give you an advantage. All right. So he switched his class setup once again. All right, let's see what it is. It's the MP7 EOD overkill and shrapnel. So, all right, that was a good use of his stim shot. I haven't seen him use a C4 yet, nor pop his munitions box, but I don't really think he had the opportunities or it was necessary to call it. All right, so let's take a look at what his final score was here. This could have been a much higher gameplay. And the reason why I say that is because some of his decision making were not too good in certain situations so for example like when he was in that house and he knew that there was a guy coming after him he could have actually challenged that guy because he was all alone and it was a very good high chance that he was going to kill that guy because he knew with his uav giving him information where the enemy was you got to utilize that mini map to your advantage now one other thing and it's a very common mistake is a lot of players they rush too hard and that's something that he was doing in this gameplay. He was rushing too hard. And in some instances, he was moving directly in the middle between objects. And like I say all the time in my videos, it's best to stay close to the walls so that you're harder to see from the opponent's point of view and you have a better chance at survival should you get into a gunfight. And another thing is that his class setup, you know, you got to know that, you know, if you're going to be rushing that hard and you're using a rifle like the foul and you're trying to engage in close range combat with the foul, you got to be real with yourself. Do you have a very fast trigger finger? You got to learn how to optimize using those weapons correctly based on the type of engagements that you're going to get into. Maybe make the gap a little bit farther so that the enemies who are using automatic weapons don't have the advantage over you in close quarter combat situation. And that actually proves my point because midway through the gameplay he decided to change to his mp7 and that was actually giving him a better chance at winning gunfights because it was more suited for those close quarter combat if i miss anything in the video feel free to leave your comments down below on what he can improve on you guys have been really good at leaving these players some advices and yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new around here and don't forget to get you some turbo nation merch uh july 19th is coming up that is the last day to cop some merch and i really appreciate the support from those who have actually purchased their merchandise it really means a lot to me and i hope you have a great day peace